Hello again, my brothers and sisters in Christ. It's uh, still Monday, July 19th, and now it's 1.55 p.m. And I just, I got out of bed and made me some coffee and got right on to see if I could find anything new about Marty. And let me tell you, uh, without going into a lot of details, they've got him moved to a big, good hospital. And... He's still on a ventilator, but they're letting him do the thing where it cuts off at times, cuts back on to help him, cuts off at times. So they're taking care of the bleeding and know where it's coming from. And oh, praise God, praise God, praise God, let us praise God. God answered this one quick. Okay, this was a, we need you now, Lord, prayer. And he came through, praise the Lord. And, um, oh my goodness, is it Jeremy? I'm so sorry. The other person we prayed for. See, I, I can't retain names. It's nothing personal. Except those that you've been with me several years. I would, of course, remember your name. This was a new person to me. And I pray that your prayers are answered quickly also. You do what I told you, though. You do what I told you. Get into the Word. Saturate yourself with the love words from Jesus and John and the music. Praise and worship. Praising Jesus. Raise your hands. You will find it makes such a great difference. Yes, it does. And get on your knees if you're physically able. Because I don't know you, don't know anything about you. If you're physically able, get on your knees, get on your face, and cry out to the Lord to take this burden from you. Okay? And let us all keep praying. i got to find out the name. I'm sorry. This is terrible. Um, I have to pull this up and click open my videos and go to here Jeremy I got that right okay good so where was I okay so for Jeremy let us all keep praying for Jeremy and please keep praying that Marty will come off that ventilator very very soon the sooner they get him off the sooner their lungs take over and do well the man didn't have pneumonia but it was the blood issue coming it turns out maybe he tried to get up and fell against it. Maybe. Somehow there was an injury. That's all I'm going to say. Led to all this going down and through. And so it was like, where's it coming from? Okay, that's all I can say. Praise God he's at Albany Med in New York. And he's going to do just fine. I knew he would. He had to. Sometimes it's a little hard having the faith while stuff's going on, you know. But this is proof that if you declare, you declare, my God can do all things. With my God, all things are possible. You keep saying it. You say it till you believe it. And, oh, Lord, I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I knew he was one of us. I knew he was. I knew he was the first fruit. I call them first fruiters. <laughs> a person that's first fruit. We're the barley harvest. And don't be offended if the Lord hasn't told you that you're in the barley harvest. It doesn't mean he doesn't love you. And he's not going to leave you forsaken. We will be back in no time. And we will help everybody who is calling upon the name of the Lord. Okay, remember that. He who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Okay? You remember that. Memorize it. He who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You can look it up. Write down the verse and the reference on a little card. Tape it on your mirror. Whatever you look at all the time. In your kitchen, if you like to cook, wherever you want it, put several up. He who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. All right. I'm ending it now and saying thank you so much for those who prayed. God bless each and every one of you. I pray you have a blessed day or a blessed night whenever you see this.